Hello Scorpio and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. All of a sudden, all these swords come out. Yeah, and here's the thing. I'm kind of getting the sense that somebody has found somebody new. Um, I'm feeling like these are two separate energies. This is, look, I'm feeling like this is the karmic. I'm feeling like this is your person. And I feel like there's another person involved here. Okay, this karmic um, or whoever your person chose over you, they may feel stuck. Okay, they may feel stuck because they've met somebody new. Um, they, of course, it's a knight of wands. Um, I feel like whoever this karmic met, she doesn't know. They're not in it to win it. They're, they're just uh, coming in for playtime. She's being used, but she doesn't realize that. All she knows is that she doesn't want to be with this masculine anymore. And I feel like this masculine is finding out that she's got someone new um, that he's being cheated on. And the karmic just wants out. Yeah, this is somebody very immature. They're going to find out through some kind of gossip. Um, they may even like catch this, uh, karmic on a, on some kind of date. Look, she just wants, I feel like she wants to be released from this person, from this masculine. Um, she may have even done this like, um, as an act of revenge. Yeah, it's, it's being exposed. It's being exposed. This this karmic is moving on with someone else. But here's the thing. The person that she's moving on with, um, they're only gonna they're only gonna break her heart. Okay. I, I I don't know if she realizes that or not, but yeah, she's going somewhere else. So she's literally leaving your person behind. Um, and now it's at a time when um They've already missed their opportunity with you. So, yeah, they missed out on a blessing in love with you. Uh, and, I, and I feel like they chose this karmic and now they're going to be um, they're going to be betrayed by the karmic. You could be dealing with a Virgo. You could be dealing with a Leo. This karmic could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah, see, now, and they're going to be thinking about this. They're going to be feeling very burdened um, because, you know, they, they made the wrong choice. They're losing everything. They're, 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 they're losing their connection with you, and they're losing the connection with, the, with whoever they chose over you. I feel like other people in the community may know about this. There could be other people in their friend group that may know about this. And they're like, this masculine's the last one to find out. This karmic, I feel like she she kept it hidden, but she, she doesn't want to be there anymore. This masculine may feel like this is manipulation or they were manipulated because I feel like maybe they were, um, yeah, look, I, I'm getting the sense that they were providing for this karmic at one point. And now they've got all of these bills. Maybe this could be bills that they can't pay, right? Um, they're being left behind with her, with her bills, and she's taken off with somebody that she's already sleeping with, going in a different direction. They're stuck with the bills, okay? They're feeling very manipulated here. Oh, yeah, they're ending this cycle in ten swords and ten wands look that's the worst possible ending yeah you could be dealing with the fire sign i feel like this person is looking at you though they're looking at you in all of this abundance they're looking at you as the responsible one the dedicated the loyal one um you would have never cheated on this person and here you are in you've got financial stability here that's something that they don't have not anymore she's she's um used up all of their resources she's spent all of their money 
she's possibly created a lot of bills for this person. Like, they created a lot of bills together. These two could have, like, they may have even purchased a home together. Now this masculine, like, they can no longer afford it. They could have done a lot of shopping together or taken vacations together or bought a lot of stuff together. And it's all under this masculine's name. And now they're responsible for that. She's like, she's leaving them behind, holding the bag and holding the responsibility for everything, um, for all the bills that they've added up, okay? And now this masculine is looking at you like you're the stable one. Not only that, but you would have been the loyal one and dedicated one. And they're realizing the man, they really missed out. They were manipulated. Yeah, but they, this person put you out in the cold. Uh, maybe at one point you were in a financial struggle, okay? Let's just say when you were with this person, you were struggling financially. You were going through a rough time. Okay, we've all been there. I spent most of my life in poverty, so I get it. But um, this person, maybe they didn't want to share with you or they didn't want to help you and help you build together. Okay, maybe they thought that um, you didn't have enough, that your job wasn't fancy enough, that you didn't bring enough money to the table. You know, and here they are now with all of these financial burdens. And you're um, in the Queen of Pentacles energy, very financially stable. You could be a, like, maybe have a boss, a, a, maybe be a boss, a business owner. I don't, for, for, all of a sudden I said, Mike, um, all of that jumbled up mess and everything that I just <laughs> screwed up there with my speech, the one thing that came out clear was the name Mike. So you, this person's name may be Mike. I don't know. But yeah, now, um, now you're the one with the money, the stability. You could be, you could have your own business and it could be very successful right now, paying off, right? All your hard work. Yeah, judgment. I feel like this person made a really stupid judgment call here. They um, underestimated you. And I feel like they put you out in the cold at one point. Yeah, now they're angry. They're really upset. They're jealous. I can feel the, like the rage off of this person. Because they've got all of these bills to pay now. And they were just cheated on and left behind. And now you're doing good, and you're, you're the one they left behind, okay? Do you see what I'm saying? And this connection is coming to an end. A lot of things are coming to an end for this person. They're seeing that they made a really stupid choice here, you know? Emperor energy. You may be getting a new emperor here. Um, I feel like this could be a new person coming in. And you're moving on. You're moving forward. Some of you have already met someone new and you've already started a new relationship. Uh, you're also, you could be an emperor energy in your masculine and divine feminine energy, okay? You're, you're, in, you're very confident. You're very abundant and stable. You've got all of these new opportunities around you, a lot of money around you. Uh, you could be upgrading in your life right now, possibly purchasing a new home, a new car, um, maybe starting a new job that's paying you more. You could be in the public eye, uh, doing something on the internet, standing in your confidence in that emperor energy. Okay, strength and confidence. Yeah, see, the, boy, did this person underestimate you. They, they had it in their head that you weren't enough. Okay, they saw you as a peasant. Maybe they thought that the job or whatever it is what, that you were building was not flashy enough or maybe you had a creative idea that was stupid that they thought was stupid sorry it wasn't okay because it's brought you to a lot of stability it's brought you to a lot of abundance yeah you've been divinely led you've been um you've been out here working on yourself 
allowing the divine to lead you to grow something that uh, they didn't believe in it. They thought that it was cr a crazy idea or something dumb, you know, or maybe it was a job that you had at the time that they thought um, was not a good enough job. And now look at you, though. You're being put on a pedestal here because spirit is leading you. And this person turned their back on you. They're regretting that. Now they want to come in and apologize. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're actually my wish fulfillment. See? Yeah, look. We got the eight. Eight of cups and the, and the page of cups. These two, these two cards together make the nine of cups. That's this. I'm sorry I walked away from you. You're really all that I'm wishing for. I'm really sorry. Here's the thing. When this person walked away from you, though, they, they, um, they enjoyed third-party situations. They enjoyed creating third parties. I feel like at one point, this person was a player. Okay, and they put you in a third party and it, it, um, it fed their ego. You know, they were smug about it. They could have even bragged about it. Okay, now this person is wishing for you. All right? They want to come in and tell you they're sorry, but I feel like you're already moving on. You've made your decision to complete and close out this cycle. Yeah, look, they're getting their karma right now. Spirit's like, you know what? You just sit down. Sit down. You've got karma coming in. Um, this person didn't want to confront. They've done a lot of things, not just to harm this connection, but to other people as well. And they need to suffer their karma. They need to pay a price. There's a consequence for the things that you do, you know? Life is a series of choices and consequences. And, um, yeah, they need to feel the same way that they made you feel. And they're getting that. They're getting the Ten of Swords. I feel like that's what this person did to you. Yeah, this is somebody who was possibly very materialistic. Okay. They could have come across as being very arrogant. Like, you know, they had an attitude. I feel like this person had an attitude with you. Like it, like nothing you were doing was good enough. Okay? I was with somebody once that even, um, even the lotion that I used wasn't good enough. Okay? I mean, I feel like that's how this person saw you and they walked away. They turned their nose up at you and left. You know, they didn't, they didn't think you had good enough clothes, a good enough job. They didn't think you made enough money, you know. Uh, they even possibly could have had other people or family members looking at you, checking you out to see if you were enough. And now you ended up being the ten of, or, sorry, the queen of pentacles and the world. That's everything. This person judged you for superficial reasons. And now they're having to take a look at that, you know, while they suffer now in the Ten of Swords, okay? You could be dealing with um, a Capricorn, a Libra, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here, Pisces, Virgo, Scorpio, heavy Virgo energy, Yes, it's the truth. I feel like now this person wants to talk, okay? They want to talk. They want to come in and apologize. They may even want to bring you some kind of gift. This person is learning a lesson. They're suffering karma, paying the price for how they treated you, okay? You could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They put you in a competition. They, uh, and you were the sacrifice, and I feel like um, they could have even, they could have even like either um, tr spread gossip about you behind the scenes or somebody else was. And I feel like they may have listened to what somebody else was saying about you as well. 
you know, other people could have seen you in a time of struggle and just thought that you weren't enough, you know? And so they could have listened to other people and allowed themselves uh, themselves to be led too by others. So I mean, I feel like it was a combination a combination of things. Um, it was them listening to other people gossip about you, listening to the things that were being said. It was them being very judgmental, um, playing games. They liked third party situations. They had an ego. They had some kind of attitude problem, right? Um, and I feel like they looked at you like you weren't enough. And you ended up being an earth angel. <sighs> so you're a light being. You're a light worker. Earth angel energy. You're very balanced. You're very stable. They could have heard from somebody else that, you know, you, um, somebody could have told this person that you flip out over things or that you... Um, get really angry. You have a short fuse. You're ex you're extremely balanced here, especially with um, the Earth Angel, Temperance Angel, and um, the Queen of Pentacles. Very balanced in your emotions. Very loving, giving, um, intuitive. Yeah. Now this person wants to come in and apologize for all of this. Okay. Uh, but I feel like it's too late for them. Yeah, here they come with this apology. But it's too late. Yeah, I feel like it's too late. There's been too much, too many illusions around this connection. Okay, there's been too much that's been said about you. There's been too much pain. There's been too much um, hurt. This person has had too many options. Okay, they're they are coming in with an with a love offer, I feel, and an apology, but that door is shut. I feel like they're gonna be um facing a tower moment here. It's like you know, things didn't work out with this karmic and they got left behind, so now they want to come back around to the one that they thought wasn't good enough. And I feel like you're just not gonna tolerate this anymore. Yeah, see, and I'm also getting the sense that they're, you know, they know they've got to fight for this, right? Um, if they want their Ten of Cups, if they want their Earth Angel, if they want their wish fulfillment, if they want their blessing and love, all right, and a happy life, a beautiful life with the Ten of Cups, they're going to have to truly fight for this. They're going to have to really, really fight for this collective. This could very well be your tw your true twin flame. You could be a Sagittarius, maybe a Gemini. Yeah, because you're moving on. Yeah, I feel like all you want to do is put this behind you. You've been betrayed so many times for so long. Um, that you're, and you're keeping your moves hidden. Some of you could be making a house move and not telling anybody where you're living next, okay? You just want out of this energy. You're done with this connection because this person didn't show you anything. Um, they, they, they didn't show you that they cared. They didn't show you that they valued you. They didn't respect you. They didn't consider it, consider you, um, and yeah, they know they've got to put up a big fight for this. So I feel like this person, um, they're gathering their strength. They're gathering their energy and they're going to come in with an apology. But you may not want to listen to what they have to say, collective. Yeah, they're, they, and I feel like they want to put the work in. They're clearing out, um, this negative energy from this toxic situation that they found themselves in. Yeah. You're walking away from this because your blessings are coming in now, big and small, okay? Um, and this is a completion to a cycle, a graduation card. You've learned all your lessons. You've passed all your tests. Now you're being rewarded for everything that you've learned, 
okay? And for um, being loyal to your divine path, right? And now you're releasing this connection and you're moving on. You're choosing a whole new direction. Some of you could be moving away. This can be a travel card. Yeah, and your person, they're coming in fast. So here's this masculine coming in just as you walk away. This is kind of like runner and chaser, right? Now you're the runner and they're coming in chasing after you. They want this soulmate connection. They, they want their happiness. They want their wish fulfillment. They're kicking themselves for making the decision that they made because now they're realizing um, that it was, it was this, the dumbest decision that they're ever gonna that they ever could have made in their life okay because now they're they're losing everything they're losing your connection they're losing that connection they've lost their money they've lost their stability so now they want to fix this and they want to fix it as fast as they can okay but I feel like there's a blockage this person may have. And I feel like that blockage is the things that they've already done to you. You know, the way that they viewed you. Like if they thought that you weren't enough, you know, you're going to be asking that question. Why are you coming back in now? If you didn't see my worth and value before, if you um, didn't believe in me before, then how come you're, you want to fix this so fast with me now? You know, you're going to be asking them that question, okay? That is the blockage. Their blockage is everything that they've done to you. And the way that they thought of you collective, that's just it. That was their opinion of you then. And they've been away from you this whole time, right? So, I mean, if you weren't worthy for them then, then... Uh, you're going to be wondering, why are they back now? It's because you're getting blessed. It's because you're getting blessed with a lot of financial stability, a, a, a job, a career that's um, successful, you know, possibly a house move, all of these blessings that are coming in for you. Yep. So get ready. This person's coming in. Um, they're coming back around. They're going to want to fix this as fast as possible, but also keep in mind, I feel like this person really doesn't have a lot to offer right now. Yes, they're single, okay, um, but they their life is a mess right now. I feel like this person needs to rebuild. They need to heal from, a, from this heartache before they bring that baggage to you. I feel like they are learning a lesson. They are getting their karma um, because their whole life is kind of being pulled out from underneath them right now. But I don't, I don't feel like this person is exactly ready, okay? They still have a lot of work to do. So use your discernment and your intuition with everyone who approaches you right now. And just know that this person from your past, they're going to want to fix this really fast, okay? Okay?